got to get it right. Yeah, his name is J.D. Jeffrey. J. Frey. Frey, because he's fresh. <laughs> Welcome from Vineyard Town, yeah, man. Both friends. <laughs> J.D. Richards. Yeah. Jeffrey is what he calls himself, podcaster, uh, comedian, media personality, content creator, influencer here this morning to share his journey of being an influencer from Yad, who now lives abroad, ATL. Good morning to you, Georgia. Your son is here, but only for a bit. Good morning to good you. Good morning. morning. How are you? Good. Morning, good. Morning, good. Bridget. Morning, Bridget. Are good you guys see. finished fighting now? Can we no, wave we a fight. white flag? No, we, already no, we don't fight. fight. We don't fight. Not we fight. You win already. Yeah. You win already. Yeah. Yeah, we're both win. we're a, all winners the, here. The tour we always win. Yeah, because you're both from two great institutions on North Street, and yeah. they are? Um, Jordi's and Gleena. Okay, there you go. <laughs> um, welcome to the show. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the journey now, how you ended up abroad. You left Jamaica in 2016. Yeah, you know, um, just there I go up to my, my childhood sweetheart, you know, but that never worked out, and then... Just like the, it was, a, I never planned, and then the plan just going or something else. So, no, well, I know, man, you it know, you're not getting away with that, you're not getting away with that. Yeah. So, what she sent for you, yeah, kind of, and it just never worked out, it just mush up. No, but you just build something else, it? yeah. But I mean, regardless of just my life, that's still you know, ups and downs, you know, and me a strong believer in right time, you know, at the right time, at the right time, right? So, so it was the wrong time for the relationship, but definitely the right no, time for it. But I just feel like you was in the, the, the wrong time for the relationship, it was the, the right wow. time for the opportunity for just to go over there, you know? And that oh, my bad. My, my bad, not style lane, you know, sorry. Oh, what? <laughs> I cut it off, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me about your love affair with media. That started here? Yeah, it started here. It started from Star Keep events in Jamaica. We used to like always try to be different on the promotion from Mega Casey. We used to just like do like crazy skits and promos, so that's how it really started, mm -hmm. like, you know, the media thing. And then I still have a love for music and comedy, because, I mean, Casey's just like a big joke school, like, it's Afro and joke. Well, I think Neville would agree seven. with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Casey's yeah, a big like, joke school. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm a good friend, then, man. My brother's Yeah, so that's how it really number of my brothers went to Casey. Yeah, okay. so, the, so you became a comedian before you left here? Yeah, my life is a joke, you know, so I'm a bar, No, but, you know? I mean, did you perform and stuff before you leave, no, or you just used to tell no, jokes? No, just to tell jokes, barbershop jokes. Kind of joke and something, and then we just say, "Well, I put it on video." When when did you think that it would be something that you know people would what? actually like and, and you know? When people start paying me, hey. to be honest, I swear, like it was just fun with me and my friend Tony. Like that's where it really started. That's fun. We start do things for you know, just to impress the world, or just to get some LOLs and yeah. laughing emojis. Then people start reach out to me and sponsorships and all them. Was stuff. it was it clean stuff you were doing or you didn't? No, man, my, 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 my one sense that man. And even now? Yeah. Even now? Yeah, even now. But you remember we are in morning? No, mama no, mama no. But even now, we are on sense? Yeah. Why you wanted to go there though? No, I mean, it's just Jamaican culture, like a Jamaican on sense thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it's like ex more expressive, I guess. But we know when for clean it up, when we have a clean it up, and like so we have to do that way, but to just do it. Because certain way. partnerships you can't really. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Do that. So tell me how when did the stars start to rise? Where were you in were you on Instagram? Were you on Yeah, Instagram and Facebook. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then you saw the numbers starting start to start climbing, I got viral, I got places people want to take picture, you know. My mother got places people I recognize, she, people I recognize, my family members, all them type of something. Like, so. Mm -hmm. so when you left Jamaica, were you afraid that um, that, that link would have been broken? Not really, because I got New York. New York is literally Jamaica. Kingston 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially <laughs> Brooklyn, they are flat bush. So Jesus. It's like, really? I remember the first time I go outside, I look like food. I was like, hey man, where can I get some curry chicken? And like, I was like, Yo, I know you. Why are you twanging? Everybody did you understand. Did actually say, hey, man, I swear to. I why, would, swear. why did you do that, Jay? Because I'm for twang. I'm for no, try. No, what? You can't just speak English? No, that's English. No. It's not? That's twang. Well. You could just say, hi, can you tell me where to get Well, I don't know. It's because I just talk about talk because I knew you can everybody true, understand. Actually, you always say English. Yeah, some more. So, them say, go on, dunga. Yes. Run on one part and then start. Run on one part and then turn one part and then. What kind of comedy do you do? Is it real life? Thing? Real like life. Like you come and smile, yeah. you see things. And no, that. man, real life, man, relatable. Like even now, me are 26, so the comedy kind of changed from back when me are like 20, 19. Now people have kids, people have bills, so we try for the comedy around that where, you know, people can relate. We can do comedy where well, we just never have no bills and we just live free off of mommy and daddy. So now we have to do things as adults. No? You have a demographic? 
Because yeah. it's a people have bills yeah. and people yeah, my, have kids. Same thing about the yeah, things. yeah, my age. You, my you age have bills and you have kids. Big bills. Yeah. No, I'm not a kids, I'm not a kids. Because the relationship now. But, no. but, but, but me, I raise a couple of people still, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I will take care of, will take care of own and them. So, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. step, some stepchildren. Mm -hmm. So, it's, oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's still, it's still <laughs> correspond with your childhood sweetheart? No, man, that done, man. That done, man. So, she run your proper? Hey. Proper. Just burn the bridge, yeah. It's light though. It's light though. Your fault? Hmm? Your fault? No, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, me, me, I may have given some stuff for work. But I was just going to say, yeah, me stop guess. doing that. Did, it make, did that make good content for you? Oh, you know, definitely. Have, oh, it did? Definitely. Give me one of the jokes you told out of that. No, I, well, no, I try how we heal. We yeah. Well, that's, yeah. yeah. that's why you can yeah. talk about it now. Mm -mm. It won't matter. No, it's my open box. You've, you've, got, know. you've got closure. Yeah. Yeah, man, we're done with that. I want to keep it closed. Is that joke, yeah. right? Is that <laughs> joke? You want to keep it closed. So tell me how you've built the brand since you left. Um, just just putting out enough work, enough collabs. Um, but did actually do some some work with Fila, that, that that clothing brand. Yeah. But at the time, I was an illegal immigrant, so I couldn't do <laughs> other works <laughs> with other companies, you know, because it was hard to really work with me because they never have a way for paying me because they're in like a social security and all that yeah. stuff. Like that. You're and, straight. You're straight now. Hmm? Yeah, a hundred percent, hundred percent, man. I got your immigration, you know, regular. <laughs> Uh, at the top, Simone said you are an influencer. What does that mean to you when you hear that you're a social media influencer? To be honest, I don't really know I'm influencer. I know people like do things with me, but I mean, I'm gonna say, I never do it for like you for doing me, though. I just do it because me like to do it. So you don't feel you have no responsibility to Oh, definitely. Definitely I do. You yeah. see me? But in terms of, I'm gonna say, influence is just that. I feel like when you use the term influence, it's like you're purposely doing something for people to follow. Me, that's how I do me. You get what I mean? So, so you don't call yourself an influencer, no. but people believe you to be. Yeah, an even even the term comedian, I would even call myself a comedian because I've never done stand up, you know. And I know actual people who do stand up. I know it's a craft where you really have to put time Correct. and Correct. Correct. you know. So me, they like that when people call me, like I'm gonna put in the work. So what you, what should we call you? But I'll just say I'm more of a storyteller because most things when we're enjoying about somebody can relate to it and say, you know, I have a similar story like something like that. You write there. things down or it just come out there. But just know the beginning and the ending. Everything at the middle, <laughs> just off the top. So like when you leave here, you say, all right, I went to something about Smile Jamaica. Yeah. Um, and then so like when I go to Art then, KC beat Georges. Yeah. So we know how the game starts and we know how it ends. At the middle, I'm just freestyle. Like. Okay. And I, and yes. you, you understand how that go? <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Yeah. I understand because Georges beat KC and in the middle. I hear you. Yeah, in the middle, <laughs> we just said Georges but more, KC. But now I'm just more focused on the podcast, you know? Okay. Oh, so let's talk about the podcast now. Yeah, we have two podcasts, um, Let's Be Honest, which mm -hmm. focus more upon dance and music and the culture. And we have Toxic Talk, which more focus upon like relationships. Oh, which me? you can speak about in great detail. Yeah, it's one so. One of yours, Crash and Burn. <laughs> no for also them. The we appreciate it. No for them. We must. They want. We have so much time. <laughs> but yeah, so Let's Be Honest is more. We interview like dancehall artists like Sean Paul. Intense, big done, like you name it. We interview people, go up on the road, ask them about music, them unpopular opinion, toxic talk, just purely relationship stuff. But the aim for everything is just to be honest, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Open space, not a right or wrong thing. It's opinionated. We can agree to disagree. I'm open to change I'm open to change my mind or my perspective on something when somebody change it. So it's just conversation yeah. really. Why are you in Jamaica now? To really take over, you know, to be honest, you know, just take over the whole media land space. You know, I just feel like Jamaica, when it comes on to like interviews and artists like expressing themselves. So you're back home now? Or? Yeah, but back and forth, you know, because we can't, we can't too stay here too long, you know, they will take all the things that yeah. work. Yeah, I'm I just saying you're talking a lot of, of things that so, immigration is keen on here. And you're not have no childhood sweetheart in you know? No, man, no, no. You have a new sweetheart? <laughs> You know, you don't want to speak from that, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 right enough Happy. thing, we are here, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, enough thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to go pan smiles to make any more of me talk about sweetheart. But I don't know the sweetheart. Yeah, the podcast. Well, you have, a, you have your own issues this morning. Yeah, because I have my sweetheart right here. Way. I do have a talk to you. Um, see my anyhow, sweetheart right here. You're on TikTok too? Yeah. Yeah, so you're on all, all, all social platforms. media platforms. Yeah. Okay, so how is the following on TikTok? TikTok, I just start TikTok. I have like, 30k on TikTok. Okay, how's the following on Insta? Like 170k. Excellent. Yeah. You, you don't do Twitter? 
No, I don't like Twitter. They don't like, they don't like me over there. So, yo, don't go on Twitter. Twitter is, Twitter is, Twitter. Them that's mean. mean streets. Yeah, them you very have to know mean. Navigate mm. to. Me, they're never strong. I'm older there right now. Trust me. But you're strong, so you can. That means I'm mean, if me never strong. Hmm. But sometimes the strong get weak. Me not, me, could, <laughs> me not go over there. Tell us where we find you. Um, Insta. J Free. Everything J Free. J A I I F R A I S. That's it. And it's not J Frost. So, it's free. And so you're never frost. No, I'm not going to smoke on him something like Excellent. Okay. Of course. All right. What an interview that was. Mm -hmm. My gosh. You have a lot of content to put out. A ton. Why are you holding my hand? Hmm? What's happening? Look at that. Look at that. What's you. going on here? No, I look at that. You see? Media personality, content creator, and podcast, <laughs> JD, <laughs> Jeffrey, Richards. Richards? Yeah. Richards. Mm -hmm. All right. Our, Respect, Bridget. Nice to meet you. Right. Brother, good to see you. Let's be honest. You know Richards, right? Fortis huh? Toxic talk. Toxic talk. Fortis Calare, say the rain, non protest. The brave may, may fall. fall, but yeah, never yeah. yield. In case you just join, look at this picture and tell me if that is not you love. You know, Prince. Tell me if that is not love. Eh? Tell me. Look how she grab onto me tight. Me I try to go me and, and yeah, she will. I want you to me. look at that. Prince, put it back up. <laughs> no. put it back. Let's really analyze. Yeah, put it back. Put, put it, it back, back up. Yeah. Jay, what you see here? Look how she will answer me. Be objective in your, in your analysis. Mr. Who is Some, holding who? Yeah. Mr. Somebody when I want to let go. Thank you very much. That's what I mean, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. Who, but who? I'm going to speak on it. Why well, you come I'm here? I'm not going to speak on yeah, it. You're not going to Atlanta. Right. The man there on North Street. The man have to talk sense. I'm not that we deal with on North Street. By the way, next we discuss if you're violating your child's rights as a social media kidfluencer. First, me and I word that is. I'd love to get your views on that. We'll soon come back. Stay with us, please.